name is Mark. I'll come back to the shop and let me just. This is the right one, isn't it? I've got my, my, my headphone poppies. Job is coffee, headphone, ginger. The wig, it's here in spirit, right? So just imagine. I might get a frame so it just holds it there so it looks like the whole top of the frame is ginger. <laughs> I can't be doing with that shit today. So, uh, this is part 11. I think there's only part. This is half an hour long, mind. Eh, we'll see what happens. Oh, look at the carbon fibre. The carbon fibre hide it all. That, like I said to people, that should be illegal. That, I hope that's just a, one of the tubes for the runoff. Oh, he's still running those horrible plastic white... Ugh. Oh, he's missing all the fairings. Ah. I'd love to see the inside of that engine. I'd love to see the inside of that engine. Oh, right, so that was back with the pedo again. I was going to say, that's going to call him his fuck boy. But that actually makes sense for a, for a priest, doesn't it? <laughs> no, I'm not a fuck boy. I I I fuck boys. Next. Ah, oh, that's good. What's going on here? Got no end of shite music, which is good. When you pin him out, you've got to, because that was what worries me a bit, right? Is he's like, oh, look, go this way, but you've got to make sure you get them the right way. You've got to make sure you get the pins the right way. Are you sure you pinned it the right way? Yeah. Look, look he's like, oh, that way. Let's hope he got it the right way, all right? Let's hope. Sorry, sorry, what? Can we see that in slow motion, please? Can I see why you're doing wiring? <laughs> you, if you didn't see it, if if you didn't see it, prepare yourself for what I'm about to say. Did I just see you, whilst doing wiring, take an angle grinder to it? Heat gun, check. Scissors, check. Crimping tool, check. Side cutters. I'm not blind. <laughs> I'm not blind. What are you doing? So basically, it's not the right connector, and he's just forcing it. Like, cool. Oh, I see it all. This is why they do fast speed. They do fast speed to get it past you. They're like um, movie movie Robert. They're just like movie Bob. He'll just say a load of junk, a load of word salad, so you don't actually listen to what they're saying. It's just blue now. It's just blue. 
main oh, hang about main engine wiring harness. Just wait a minute. Let me just let me just absorb this. So basically he's now wrecking two two harnesses because he didn't have the right ECU connector block or something. So now he's wrecking two. Right, cool. Just so I got that straight. Welcome back to the channel, guys. We just finished up the rest of the splicing in the rear, and I was looking on eBay recently, and I found a 21 Aprilia RC4 base model harness. There's some damage to it, so I got it for a pretty cheap deal, but the main pieces, which I could not get from Aprilia, that I found on this harness that I needed. Bollocks. What do you mean you couldn't get from Aprilia? Bollocks. The bike's brand new. It's a 2021 bike. With this bracket that goes in the rear section, and... It's a 2021 bike. What do you mean you can't get the... Shut up. This big harness connector, which is actually broken on my main harness. I should be able to swap over this top piece and the gray part, save like a hundred bucks on a new massive connector, as well as bolt that bracket in the rear that goes here. A lot of great pieces on this harness that I'm gonna so be able like to- cut off his own bullshit there. And weirdly enough, this is that plastic thing that housed the wire lock that he didn't put back on. That's crazy. Used. We got the quick shifter all wired in and earlier you did see me go back to the shop to get a different top connector because I ended up ordering the wrong thing. The grooves on this one are in the middle and the grooves on the one I accidentally ordered were on the side, not in the middle like these ones. So let's oh, get to yeah, it. Yeah, so just completely all wrong. Finish up this wiring. It's all right, I've got another harness. <laughs> How is he ordering the wrong connectors if he now has two looms? How's that possible? There's so much shit we don't see. Like, look at those wires. Look at the bare wires for the, 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 the main power wire. What the fuck is that? What is going on? Look at those. <laughs> There's got to be a comment saying, You're such a good mechanic. <laughs> Let's have a look. I'm not usually this ambitious. Also, I turn around, we rise in time motorcycle harness. Badly, badly, you turd. That passenger seat isn't meant for passengers. Well, it is. That's what the foot, the foot pegs are also not meant for passengers. Uh... Your dedication to wiring is unparalleled. Good stuff. No, it's shit. It's it, 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 shit. All little details coming together looks epic. Don't let them get you. Don't let them get to you. Got this. Banging them out as well. All the fab you learn will play in the future. Can't wait for more. You're a fucking idiot as well. <laughs> Great work, bro. Love your rebuilds. Idiots live in Germany. Unless he's an American who lives in Germany. <laughs> it's just it's just I love this was I'm participating each and every part of your rebuild videos following you since the last two years maybe I don't think he's been on YouTube two years by this point it's just amazing content sounds sick sick sound oh sick build sound sick it's just sick in it it's sick build, sick sound, with no punctuation, but a capital letter for some bloody reason. You're a turd. <laughs> it's just, it's just, Jesus bless. He needs blessing. <laughs> he needs all the help he can get. Right, are you going to unpin that entire thing? out of the harness. I don't know why I didn't do this before. Oh no, he's gonna unpin it all. I hope you get this right. Dude, I would have taken some photos of it if I were you. Wow, you just 
to hope you're right, don't you? got the factory harness you could have done this with that a quick look would tell you that there's one or two extra pins but i don't have them so i can remove them from the harness because i know what they are because if you look at the wiring diagram it'll tell you it's just insane this is another loom been butchered so he's butchered it I know people are going to say, yeah, but you bought it. It's like, well, that, that, okay then. So if I buy this prostitute, I can just beat it to death. It doesn't matter, does it? It, 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 it? If you buy it, you can do what you want with it. And I know there are going to be some hardcore people saying yes, but within reason, you know what I mean? Without being a complete arsehole about it. It's just like, this is just wasteful for the sake of being wasteful. Because there's no other way around it. What are you doing? Well, the wiring's going pretty well. So far, we swapped over all these smaller pins from the main harness to the new connector. And the reason why I wasn't able to just swap this larger part over to the old piece, because there is no way for this piece to slide out without breaking the outside piece. Bollocks, to get it on there. The only way I got this broken one off the old side was I literally had to chop it in half to slide it out of the nah, connector. it'll fit in there somehow. I guess my solution was to depin the old one. Magically, the two separate pieces, you've got them in your hand. How do they go together? So what you do is you you break that one off, right? And then you try and put it back on and you'll go, oh, it just, it pushes these ejectors and then it clips. Ah, right, so I've got to do the reverse of that. Uh, one and and you get a practice the new go by taking the old one off. It's, it's, yeah. New one. What I'm having to do is pull back one of the tabs on the back side of these leads. Red and white lead, slide the lead out and then Pops right out of the back side. Then we grab the one from the main harness, slide it in the slot we just removed. And there's no chance you can get that mixed up. There's no chance someone comes in and distracts you. There's no chance your phone goes off. There's just no chance. Because I, unless he has a picture of it, he's got no real reference. to god they're all right don't you because the thing is if they're not you'll be chasing that forever because it doesn't tell you you've mixed up the blue and the orange one well i'm tapped there naked why are you at the orange one do you just forget it the answer to that matt is yes There's fuses in there. I can't believe you've got them, them bare naked wires hanging out. If they're naked and bare like that hanging out, it probably means that they're pulling out, right? Which means they'll arc. If it, if it starts pulling out and not and pulling out, and it'll just sit and arc and get hotter and hotter and hotter and hotter and hotter until something sets on fire. Well, melts. And it'll melt into the lithium ion battery. Oh, good. Oh, cool. Awesome. Awesome. Well, our wiring is officially done. Would it have been cheaper to just get a whole new harness? Not really, but would it have saved? Yeah, probably. Saved a lot of time? Absolutely. We do have the used harness we picked up from eBay if I do run into any issues down the road. And the orange You've got two. Lead that runs from this data connector that goes nowhere. I just left taped up for now because it's not vital. It runs from this data connector. Still can't figure out where it goes. And if I ever need to use that data connector, then I'll probably need to wire it in or see where it goes. But for now, while I'm here, nah, I can't be bothered. Now we are going to start installing more carbon. From how, our how does any of what he just med said med make sense? PM carbon. Ah, oh, so ripple smooth, isn't it? Let's hide the damage. Let's hide it. Hide it. This is like burying your ex-girlfriend in the woods. Is, 
see how very crafty not to show us the knackered bit. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. You do realise how dangerous that is, right? Like, if it comes off, it's an RPM one as well. So if it comes off and goes into your wheel somehow, then it gets shredded up by your wheel, and then you've got all these sharp things that can then punch your tyre. Right? Why? Who's selling RPM? What are you doing? You're selling shit. I've seen it all now. I've literally seen it all. Like, are you sure that exhaust isn't touching the carbon, right? It's plastic. You do realise that. Or the tape that's holding it on, it doesn't make it so soft that it just comes off. Nah, who cares? It covers up the damage, so who gives a shit? The weirdest thing is, you've got the... Going back, right, you've got the hugger there. You've got a mounting point, so why don't they put a mounting point up there? Like, you screw these bobbins in, so why don't you have a mounting... Like a little lug that goes up there to screw into there? To hold it on properly. Look, it's literally there. I can see it. Why wouldn't you use that? It's like you've got the chain guard here. There's a hole there and a hole there for the hugger. Why don't you use them? Oh, of course, he, he, he left this. Warranty void if removed. Out of the packet. <laughs> I've seen some dumb shit, but... Dude, where'd you get the carbon swing arm, bro? Bra, sorry. It's like, uh, uh, Chris Packet. <laughs> it's a... <laughs> it's only a 200 horsepower motorbike. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> I can't believe he bought that just for that. Although his swing arm's broken. His exhaust is broken. I don't know, Ginger, they're not the same. They're not the same at all. Like if you look if you actually look at this side, there's a hole. Oh. Swing arm Come on, back you go. Oh, back you go, I said. Oh, that's, I'm pressing the wrong button. Sorry, I'm being retired. I've been held back. If you look, there's actually a hole there, probably for a spring at the top next to the big hole. It's not the same at all. Like, at all. No, it's just... And then there's obviously this entire lug at the back's missing. Swing arm covers went great, and while I was over here, I wanted to change out this kickstand because I thought that they were interchangeable, but they are the same all the way up until the top here where you can definitely tell this is the newer one, and this is the 2019 and under version. It was worth a shot. Let's put this back together and throw the old kickstand on. I might even attempt to grind this down and weld up a little ring and fix it. Yeah. Well, I, I just want, but I just, I, I just... Grind it down a bit and then just spray it. Just, come on, you're not going to really do a good job welding it, are you? Knowing your limitations is part of the whole Dunning-Kruger jobby. Or not knowing them is part of it. Whichever. Shut up. Ooh, that was expensive. Oh, it's got the decal. That's from the factory, then, if it's got the decals on it. It's got... Is that a nylon ring that they've bonded into the plastic? I'm sorry, right, but the amount of money you pay for this... And the decal it. Oh, my God, I want to be sick. Look, listen to me, Aprilia, you little knobs. 
if you are going to spend premium money on your words saying your brand your name saying aprilia racing get your little plotter and cut out a mask lay it on top and let someone airbrush it on not this shit this looks terrible god's sake i bet it costs a bloody fortune i'm, let's go, I'm, I'm so pissed off when i find out how much it's a 2021 2021 Aprilia RSV4 fuel tank. Oops. How much are they brand new? No, how much? Oh, how much does the carbon was cost? The carbon one. Why don't you get a carbon one? Who is this from? Oh, no, this is. Oh my god. So the carbon one. I, love, I wish we'd get some real pictures. The carbon one. Yeah, of course. They, they probably never look that good. Uh, the carbon one's going to set you back uh, to uh, 2.2 euros. <laughs> Europeans. Uh, 2.2 euros. That's actually bugger all, really, if you think about it. Like, like, it's like a quid. Um, there we go. How much for a new fuel tank? Place your bets. It does say this is the factory one, but I, it's close enough. Right, it's going to be silly money, isn't it? It's just going to be silly money. How much? Oh, one thousand two hundred twenty-two euros. Is that it? Oh, there we go. One thousand two hundred twenty-two euros. Um, which really. Isn't what I thought. And that is the ABS factory, the, the factory model, which is the the sexy one, supposedly. So a grand for a new tank, that's not much. It's not, not when you can get a carbon one for two. Dollars, that is. Or oh, two euros, sorry, not dollars. Probably about a, a, a dollar. Oh, no, it's three dollars, sorry. Let's have a look. Shitty stickers. Be so pissed off. Spending a thousand, a thousand two hundred euros or a thousand euros, and even down in here the finish is this bad. I'd be so. Someone will be getting a bomb in the post. Let me put it that way. Not the same, is it? Take the lacquer off, which just looks like what you're doing. Oh, it's that plug socket that goes nowhere. It's not even a sensor. That they're literally just too old. Look, yeah, they're just two nut certs, and then that's it. Oh, look, that's that sexy plastic molding technology. Look. It's like slip coating, it's great. See, look at the mould, how the mould all that, it's cool stuff. Is it HDPE? It's PA6, are you kidding me? It's PA6, it says there. Oh, 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 oh. It says PA6 in big letters. It's nylon. So instead of having a nylon insert, the whole thing is nylon. Yeah, PA6 in massive letters. What's it say there? Oh, is that upside down? I can't see. Something else there. No, it just says made in Italy. Yes, yeah, PA6. Can you believe that? PA6. Jeebus Christ. It's come a long way, some of these technologies. Some of these manufacturing technologies. Hmm. 
Yeah, it's cool stuff. Oh, sorry. All oh, right, so the old tank. So he's got the heat shield. In. So that's got a big effing hole in it and four nut certs, and these have got two brass inserts. Got a new one. Oh no, these are the new ones. This is the new one. It comes with the the, the heat reflective shit on it. This is the new one. So this one's got these two with two fasteners on. It probably returns. And that's blanked off on the old one. I haven't even saw that out. Super glue. Super glue paper mache. Alright, cool. Alright, so as you saw the new What's it, what's it gonna do the Stanley knife? New tank from AF1 Racing arrived. Now this tank is from a wrecked bike off a showroom floor. One of you guys actually reached out to me over Instagram. Let me know. So I paid five hundred quid for it. You see, this is the thing, right? It's like it's five hundred dollars. The amount of money you waste on other stuff, right? Five hundred dollars. You might as well buy a new one. That this was up I for sale. It's double the price, but you might as well for half the price and in stock right away. So I had to get it, but it's glossy instead of matte like mine. I thought it's it looked different. Yeah. And like clear coated over all the stickers are clear coated on our mine you can peel the stickers off directly i don't know how i feel about this tank yet but hey it's a brand new tank and it looks fantastic and i was able to get one because they were on back order i don't know how i feel about it being glossy and not matte he painted his calipers with a paintbrush and hobnobs <laughs> and thought it looked pretty sick until everyone in the comments said are you blind you brillo pad and he was like Oh, I'm going to bow to the peer pressure like Jesus told me to. Uh. And they were pricey. Now we have run into a roadblock. This little square piece right here, I believe, is for like UK or different model bikes, not American. Because on my old gas tank, there is this plastic cover that it's goes where that square cover. is. It's not a plastic cover. That's a bit in the mold. And I looked up this part number, and as you see from the screen recording, it doesn't even say very much information about it. It just says special. And I'm really wanting to ride this bike today, so I'm going to try cutting this thing out, if it even cuts out, and possibly putting it where this goes. But I don't even think that's going to work because this is flat with the surface, and it has these holes in it. Now that I'm talking about it, I don't think that's going to work, oh, actually. Oh, come on. Be brave. I wonder if there's a block-off plate I need to get for this, or if there's an actual, or if there's an actual unit that goes... It says they're blank. What does that say? The last one, it says technical specification blank. What number is that? I wonder if there's a block off plate I need, need to get for this or if... Right, so it's the white one. If... I don't... So it's SB008854. I think that's going to work, actually. I wonder if there's a block off plate I need to get for this or if there's... It says grey and it says black, blank. There's an actual... Or if there's... I don't know what that means an actual unit that goes here but i don't think i have that unit on this model bike now i do think i have an idea solution that we might be able to ride today i got a ton of extra bolts from all my bikes i saved the bolts because they're the most valuable i've got a ton of extra small little allen bolts that i can use and if i cut out a square of some plastic material that won't deteriorate it with the gasoline i should be able to punch four holes in it put some sealant around the edges screw this piece on and that should block up this hole i'm usually not this ambitious but let's see how it goes. Is, is ambitious code for stupid? I'll give him five points. At least he's using the nylon that the tank's made out of. And then he stands on it. Okay, cool. Well, we got a stand knife. You got a grinder. Claw hammer, of course. Thicknesses, you need to flatten that out, mate. But it did, it did say DIS. I don't know if that it might, might mean discontinued. I don't know. Oh, it's to be discontinued. So it's 2B00 2B 2B00. What was it? 88. Oh, wrong bloody page. 8854. 
Uh, I've got a picture of it. Anyone got a picture of it? Anyone, anyone, anyone? Anyone, anyone, anyone? It says fuel tank without fuel probe. There you go. Penny grey. These are all the same. I want to see tank. I don't know what crank and talk to God. Cranks tough tank. I don't know what that means. Let's do some Germany. Translate. It probably just means fuel tank. Oh, that's not even even how you spell fuel tank. Uh, translate even. Fuel tank. It, oh, look, it's in Latvian. It comes out of fuel tank. So, <laughs> there we go. Uh, so it says, yeah, fuel tank without probe. So that's probably the probe housing. That's where the probe goes. What's despondent? Does that mean discontinued? Was I right with the DIS? Uh, translate. This is what everyone comes here for, Matt. The little tangents that you go on. The crazy, crazy detect language. Uh, go on, go on. Availability. That's Spanish. Oh, despondante means despond. Fuel tank without fuel probe. <gasps> 1,700. Fuck. Oh, Jesus Christ alive. No, they're well expensive, these tanks. Jesus. So that's not what that meant. Um, so basically, this serial number is actually for the tank, the, the tank itself. But it's the one without the fuel probe. It took me how long to find that out? Like, well, not live, but you get what I mean. <laughs>
that's a Marley fuel filter. Remember, this isn't the first time he's had problems with fuel systems. Is it going to have this red sealant shit on it? And did you put some new stuff on there? Yeah, I don't bother. Hang on, I was going to say, isn't this for the wires? Did do that wrong? Is that what he did? He put it on first and then realised what it was for. Oh yeah, of course he did. <laughs> It's just got this bit of plastic screwed to it. Why? Don't know. Now, before you're going to put it in the bike, you're going to fill it with fuel and test it. Both the fuel pump and... No. Oh, no, no, it's not. He actually isn't. <laughs> oh, shit. It's like I'm stupid or something. <sighs> More grips. Connect it up and just bunk some fuel in it. Your brand new tank. Let's go for it. Go. Oh, all sorts of things are going on here. Did he just sneak on a... Did he try and sneak on a Jubilee clip there? Did you see that? Did, you, did we see that? Oh, Jesus Christ. I can't fit that on because I don't, I don't know how them clips work. More grip it. Got a Jubilee clip in it. Nah, that doesn't seem right. Try the actual clump cramp again. Did it work? It worked this time. Maybe. Are we going to test it? No, we're not going to test it. Now, there are slots. Usually you slot something, just in case you've got a bit of adjustment. Not that much Aprilia. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I know there's going to be a rubber thing in there, but blah, my God, that's a that, that's huge. Why? The, the tank shouldn't move that much. The tank shouldn't move that much, but this is probably why it came off. If you slop, it could just flop off and then cut its own wires in a line. The whole loom just chopped off. Yeah, the clamps are the size of... Oh, that's broken. What thing needs to be that big? Why is there so much slop? Oh, they, they, that... Because it's a plastic tank, it appears it's nylon. It's really stable. They are thought that they were so confident that they'd give it like an inch, nearly two inches of slop. I'm like, oh my god. That's broken, that looks like shit. Who cares about that stupid little button? Who cares about that when your swing arm's literally coming apart at the seams? We got a gas tank, and I just realized I put the gas cap in wrong. All right, let's fix this real quick. I'm really hoping that my little patch on the bottom actually holds gas. That would be unfortunate if it didn't hold. Well, why don't you test it? Oh, I didn't notice yet. Well, I'd... which way does mine? I'm trying to think now. I'm trying to think which way they all open. Do they all open away from you? Yeah, they do, don't they? I'm trying to think of one that doesn't. I've never actually even thought about it, to be quite honest. Oh my gosh, there's a blade stuck in the back side of the key. Come on out. Oh All right. Oh, God. I am really losing it today. All four are tight in the right direction. Beautiful. What's it are you sure? Because... I think you've got it wrong. Losing it today. All four are tight in the right direction. Because Aprilia is now upside down. You, oh no, it's not. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm going. Man. I'm going. He's driving me mad. Handlebars, there you dip. Yeah, right. Cool. All right. So I'm going mental now.
Beautiful. Once again, huge shout out to AF1 Racing for hooking me up with this gas tank. The fuel evap lines that run from the gas tank all the way down to these little two ports right here have been relocated and I've removed the evap canister and stuck a bolt in the back side of these. So hopefully there's no issue with the engine light. I forget if they need to be sensing negative pressure, which is why there's a bolt in the end of these. We're gonna tie these up, zip time out of the way. We're gonna come over here and grab one of the first pieces I ever bought for this RSV4. Under here. This memory foam RSV4 seat, a little bit dirty, but Mem look. memory foam. Yeah, the cushion on, towel. on that thing. This piece slides into that bolt on the gas tank. It's gonna look kind of funky at first, I bet. That kind of clashes a bit. Uh, I don't know if that's a huge thumbs up for me with the color combo. And I'm realizing another mistake here, which is just unfortunate. This is the latch assembly, which goes on those bolts right here. And these bolts in the rear are for the tail fairings. But you can see the seat sits right here, but there's no bolt for the edge of the seat. And if you come over to the previous... <laughs> Ah, are you sure you've got the right, are you sure you've got the right subframe? Subframe, check that out. There's bolts on the edges for the seat. When I purchased this subframe, I think the list thing did say 21 RSV4, but I believe there might be a year gap from 19 to 21 where the seat style is different and it does not accommodate the bolts for this oh, new RSV4. Oh, it's like you're a tit. Before 21 seat. I'm thinking I might just grab some rivets, drill some holes, and install that seat the hard way. Now, before we button up oh, the I rear can't and wait go. You do that brand new part is going to start drilling into it. For a little test for it, as long as that gas tank isn't leaking. We got one more box I over here. It. Here with some beautiful used RSV4 gray tail pieces. Yeah, they're a little scuffed up, but I could not get these anywhere brand new. Found these super recently on eBay. They just arrived a few days ago. Let's slap them on along with the rest of the rear. The, the, the tail, that, that seat's also broken, so the stitches are starting to come out the back, and the actual tang that you it's it snapped, it's got a snap in it. It's like, why would you want to use all this shite? If you're buying stuff off eBay, what you want to do is you want to check, you want to ask them questions. Are there any broken bits? If there are, can you put them up on the, the thing? If they already have, then great, then it's up to you to decide. But if it turns up and they didn't describe, and you asked and they didn't describe it and it's broken, you send it back. It is literally, it's on you to be vigilant and to buy the right parts <laughs> for your bike. Oh, are they that bent? Oh, they were that bent they had to literally just lever them up. Right, cool. That's funny. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, that's how that goes on there, isn't it? Lovely. Okay, this color combination is comical. A glossy gray tank with an off red seat with a matte gray with a darker orange reddish with a passenger pylon red. on black. Yeah, we're gonna. A passenger pylon? Does he know what a pylon is? A darker orange. <laughs> oh, you sweet little child. You mean pillion? Oh god, I didn't just didn't match the two together. Pylon is billion. Right. 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 Okay. We're never gonna forget that's that's gonna become a meme straight away. Do it orange reddish with a passenger pylon black. Yeah. Pylon. Right. I get you. I get you. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. We're all good here. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna need to change something. I have a yeah, the pylon seat. This question for Aprilia. What in the world, what person is going to sit on this passenger pylon? First of all, a passenger pylon. That's a rock. Second of all, um, the Well, this one actually isn't. Uh, people say in the comment, this actually isn't a seat, is it? Six sits higher than the seat, so that's got to feel funny. It's and really good for your vagina.
Guys, there, there's actually passenger pegs. It's literally supposed to be for a passenger, which I just find hilarious. That has got to be the worst passenger pylon ever. Like, a passenger pylon? Wee, Kawasaki's. So, uh, don't sit on them at the torture. So, <laughs> I've, I've only been pilling on a Kawasaki once, and there's actually a picture of it, and actually a bit of a video. Um, RSV4 2021. Is that what it looks like? Is that how it comes? Of course, we've got an excellent picture. Uh, open image in the new tab. No, why is that? It's a bit, it's a bit, it's a bit. What, why? No, what do you mean? I want to risk it. Asphalt, no. I hate when it says this. I want to go, no, I want to accept the risks and continue. It's got a, it's got a certificate that's failed. Oh, who cares about that? It literally is low. Oh my god! Oh, so it's maybe moulded in like that. Yeah, that's not a bloody seat, is it? But it has got the 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 pylon. It has got the. Who sits on that? Are they drunk? <laughs> Clearly, are they actually drunk? Why would you do that? Yeah, bizarre, isn't it? I don't know if it's like an aftermarket piece of shit or something. But no, the... Uh, yeah, that's that's really good. That's really good. I think that's the same website, isn't it? Yeah, look. So this is what it's meant to look like. We've got all the broken bits on it. And... Uh, yeah, look. It's this V-shape with a little... The pylon... Uh, what happens if I put RSV passenger pylon? What's it say when I type that in? Rear passenger, what's that say? Ah, it... <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. It's a, a Mac Carbon pylon. You see, you can tell that these kids don't hang around with anyone who actually knows what they're talking about. All right? This is this is evidence. When did you ever hang around with someone and they just went out and said, Duh. "Oh yeah, I took my missus on the pylon." It's like the what? Yeah, the pylon. Look, the pill ion, the pi. It's lion, right? It's pi lion, a pylon. A pie Leon. It's it's a the weirdest thing is it is a pillion because it's a pilly on a pillion. Pylon. I I wonder how many of his friends if anyone can find any of these bum boys like Benjamin Outdoors or whatever, do they say it as well? Because if they do, I'm gonna have a field day. I'm gonna shit, right? <laughs> this has got some cushion and this is annoying to ride on. Also, the width, that's a whole hand width. And that's half a hand. If any of you guys have taken a passenger princess on one of your Aprilias, if you have an RC4, let me know how that goes because that's ridiculous. I you keep probably... on trying to stick a pile on a Pajaxi, but she's having on <laughs> We had to bribe them to get on the bike. Anyway, I think I really messed up with this subframe because nothing is fitting on the rear here these tabs that lock the passenger pylon seat in they're just sitting on top of the subframe i don't know if maybe i'm missing a piece back the here also the these pylon. fairings have a tab that is curved upright and the screw hole is level really i really don't think they'll ever be using that passenger seat i need to do the rivets the on pylon. the subframe Shush. here but i think the rear is completely different for the tailpiece these brackets it's are flat, the fairing comes up sideways. This cable, I got a route to the lock here. I just haven't done that yet. We gotta go with a black seat for sure. Rear profile on this bike is absolutely beautiful though. I love that sleek it's design. very simple actually. I did forget with to it, but it's very simple. Even order a tail light on this bike. You must have thought the NRC tail tidy came with a tail light, but that's- Why would you think that? Wrong. We'll have to see how the tail light plugs well, the last in. last time you bought indicators for a bike, the aftermarket ones, and the rear light came with it. Please tell me when. With all like, these like other tabs. Some of them have them integrated, but they don't give you the tail light for the bike. Tabs. And I did just do a quick eBay search, and the bracket for the 21 up is different than this one. Oh my god, it's not just different, it's totally different. 
Like, look at all this added stuff. Although, saying that, your bit of fairing here, with these holes, doesn't line up with this. There is no... There's a wing there, but there's no hole in it. you got your fairings on wrong, I think. Or oh, there's just... Or oh, these don't bolt to the frame at all. They bolt to another piece. But yeah, they, they're totally, it's totally different. It, he's got this black bit. Forget the colour. It's totally different. The way it's fashioned is completely different. And obviously his holes and all that shit. And so this is the incorrect bracket. Now let's grab the carbon side pieces, throw them on, and see if that makes the bike a little bit more beautiful. Oh, what are these? These are the hard the dings in your frame. Oh, it's Rocket Powered Mohawk. He's a busy guy. Oh, and it's them side bits. Yeah, I see. Oh, I actually like the red. It, it's I'm different than all the other shite. I don't, I don't just... like the grey. Gunmetal grey is just... Ugh, it's a bit... Ugh, it's a bit 1998. It's a bad day to work on a motorcycle. So, first issue, this hole leads to nowhere because... <laughs> We're on a road to nowhere. <laughs> the hole is actually back there, but... <laughs> no, you're missing something. The hole on this carbon piece is up here, so that's confusing. No, let, 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 right, let's, let's just go and check again. Let's go... Turn around, look at what you see. See, that's what I do on my <laughs> what I do on my nights off. So, let's have a look at an RSV. Oh, that's the wrong one. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's just do that and that. Um, this is it, isn't it. Yeah, this is it. Twenty twenty one. Yeah. Opening this, the the view. That's it. Let's go zoom in. So, where where's he looking? He's right up in that top corner where the frame meets the tank. Where the frame meets the tank, there's a hole there. What have you done, Ginge? Oh, this is the RSV for factory. <laughs> have you have you made a have you no? No, this is the factory. That's the factory as well. Where's the standard one? That's the factory one. Just the standard one, please. We're going back to this site again. The site where it said no. Um, no, because this isn't the RSV factory, is it? No, this isn't like it's the factory one. Um, 65 degree RSV4. No, because even in this drawing, right, even in this CAD layout, right, you can see where the tank meets the chassis, there's a hole there, and there's a hole there. And if you look at this, this has got everything you have. Look at the little shark fins, look. Just above where the pivot is for the... That's weird. There's the pivot. There's the shark fin right next to it. It's like, oh, that's weird. That's really strange. Oh, look, this... It, it doesn't come pre-dented. <laughs> I have good fun doing this. So, I don't know what this oval is for. This oval is probably for the different version or something. Who knows or cares. Um, but looking at this with the pillion pylons, when he said before, he said pillion pylons, I thought he meant literally these, the pegs. Because you could call that a pylon. But that's why I did, it didn't register the first time he ever said it. But when he's literally pointing at the seat and going, this is the... This is the, the pylon seat. I was like, oh my god, I've got it now. <laughs> Love it. So, um, yeah, so no, they've got that right, right? This is just, unless, unless, unless everything I'm clicking on is a grey one. No, that's got it as well. Uh, open image in the tub. Oh, you. Bastards. Uh, open image in a tub. It's so hard to look at images now because of the European retards. But look, there, right, you can even just see it. It's literally got the same sticker set as he has. So right there in the corner. So it's right. So what are you missing, Ginge? What are you missing? You're missing something. Underneath there, you are missing something. 
And this is just a bad day to right, work on. Before that, before he puts it on. So yeah, that looks like the original. So what have you got? <gasps> it's a tank. You've got the wrong tank. You like it didn't have the block in it, and you had to bodge it up. There's a minute a it's missing the tank. It's the tank. Oh my god! Right. So where is that? Let's have a look. So where there's a this big hole or black thing, Velcro a bit, whatever it is. The hole's directly below that. So if we go RSV4 tank 2021 RSV4 tank. Um, so when you look at the tank, look at the tank, look at the tank there. What if this is a Google image? So this is a, a 2017 to 2019. And look, you can see it there. Oh, can I just can I can I make it big in big in it? So I, I can't move. So you can see the Velcro patch there. Can you see the Velcro patch where the magnifying glass is there? Look, this is over here. Velcro patch under where the tank merges with all the. This is the attachment point. So you sunshine Velcro patch, but there's no mounting point there. You look at his Velcro patch. Where the end of the tank, where the tank bends, basically the hole is below where the tank should bend. So on this image, where the tank, oh god, where the tank bends, wherever you, wherever that is, uh, oh it could be over there actually, where the tank bends. I can't really see. It looks like you're missing a bit. Yeah, you're missing a bit. That that's not what you've got at all, is it? It's like it's nowhere bloody near. It, it's just not the same beast. Yeah, you just you haven't got the same beast at all, have you? eBay pictures are good because you get multiples of the same thing. Why can't I make it in big in it? Because usually it lets me load. Why won't it let me load? Like you know, the gallery. Oh, for God's sake. So, have we got a side view of it? No, because this guy's retarded. So he's got the hole in it where the... Made in Italy. Oh, he's scraped the top of it. This also doesn't have the vents by the look of it. This is a totally, it doesn't even tell you what year it is. That's well done, you div. Um, so that one's the one we've seen. RSV, RS600. RSV4 fuel tank. So this one, yes. 2011, that has a different setup than yours does. Doesn't mean these match. God, that's in a mess, isn't it? Um, but it doesn't line up. <laughs> there we go. That's the conclusion of our story. It doesn't line up. But there's literally nothing. There's literally nothing there. Yeah, where he goes to put that hole, there's nothing there. You're probably missing a bracket. From the look of it, it's probably what there's a little square. If you look, there's a little square. That's probably an alignment square. And that sounds mental. But you see, there's a little alignment. You see there's a little square and a pip. That's probably to that bracket to align it. So you're probably just missing two brackets, Ginge. Oops. I've seen this about ten times. I'm thinking this is just a bad day to work on a motorcycle. So first issue, this hole leads to nowhere because the hole is actually back there, but the hole on this carbon nah, piece you're missing, is up. I'm sure you're missing two bits of frame. Here, two, two that's brackets. About that, probably about that long. Confusing. And on this side, the hole does not even line up close to where it should be on the gas. No, the other one's worse, clearly. 
tank. And I did That's adjust. Probably because you've got a shit. The tank is the OEM, so the tank is probably right. It's your R RPM. It's been fucking about. The tank as far forward as I could because it is adjustable right here. Loosened all three of these mounting points, but I couldn't get the tank to move any farther forward. And I was, I didn't want to damage the tank. So those don't really fit up the best. Color combo is just a huge no right now. <laughs> it did hide up some of the wires, so I guess that's a half thumbs up. We are going to move on to the next thing because I really want to ride this bike today. That will be mirrors and a shifter piece. This bar, which is double threaded on each side, is literally on back order for forever. I did order it quite a while ago, and that's what connects the shifter lever to the quick shifter. So a permanent- Get a bit of studding for the time being, you'll be fine. So <laughs> not permanent. So a temporary fix will be to heat this up, bend it out, and hopefully be able to thread this piece onto both ends. And for mirrors, I am still waiting on some mirrors. I'm gonna end up bending this Rizomo mirror back. If you're back gonna in the bend it, Stick as many nuts as you can on it and bend it. Don't grab the thread. Place and look at that. It didn't even crack and it bent that far. That's some high quality stuff. Primarily putting the mirrors on, not for the mirror functionality, but for the stabilization of this front fairing. Washers. Which connects directly to the stay piece. Because at a buck 30, I don't want this flying off. We also tied up the rest of the. You have to go as fast as you can. I thought you just test riding it. Cables, the EVAP cables, I just tied down here for now. There's a lot of work. That still needs to be done, but I'm just dying to ride this you, thing. You anyway, used to just, you, why don't they use cable ties for coolant systems, idiots? <laughs> would help if I ordered the right pieces in the first place. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Nice. I think there were more flashing lights last time I had it plugged in, and this time I have everything plugged in, so hopefully that's a good sign. All right, let's get to work. Death trap. Oh, you're heating it up with a heat gun. And a plastic hammer. Perfect. You didn't grab that thread. You didn't grab that thread with a vice whatsoever, did you? <laughs> Ever. out the aftermarket thing you thought that you bought was a piece of shite like a glove So it's been a few hours since we put that 90 minute gasket sealer on that little makeshift piece on the gas tank. I'm going to remove the side pieces in the seat, lift up the gas tank and fill this gas tank as high as I can get so that that makeshift piece on the bottom is submerged. And I want to check for any leaks. We've got some gas on top of the bike, you div. That's back here. So let's find out. Oh, wow. It's almost like you're stupid. <laughs> Fuel. So it definitely is leaking, but I do want to. But start it anyway. At least run this thing. Through. Oh, cool. That's cool. That's one wipe. Wipe it again. All right, nothing. Am I tripping, or was there stuff on here when I just touched it a minute ago? Nothing right now. So it will still be able to stop itself. See if it's still leaking. And right now, it's there's really nothing. I even put the cloth in there, and I didn't see anything. So let's go fire it up. It's it's literally. Do you want to start a fire? Yeah, fuck it. Start her up. Alright, take number one.
There's the fuel pump. So it has an intermittent fuel pump. Great. To add the other cylinders, it's like, oh shit, yeah, there's four of us. <laughs> Can't do anything to see the inside of that cylinder, it's not long for this world. What do you think, how long is it going to take for it to melt those uh, carbon fibre huggers for the swing arm? So those revs were sick. The temp was up to 230 and it wasn't going down, so it might be low on cooling or something. We'll top this up once I it cools down. Bleed the system. The number two is it's Italian, it runs hot. Those pops were wicked. There's no lights on the dash, no engine light, no nothing. I don't know what all those lights are. The only thing it was on was the fuel light and the ABS because the bike wasn't moving. That's beautiful. She runs. All right. All right, we got brakes. It's not like he's ever had problems with fuel pissing everywhere, is it? Limited turn radius to the left. Hopefully nothing falls off. Oh my gosh. All right, let's start it up. How many cranks? How many cranks? <laughs> Holy. Oh. <laughs> well, let me go into first. Start stand it. This is ridiculous. It's because the fudging kickstand, bro. Did I not wire that in right? Probably should have checked this earlier. That sucks. <laughs> oh, doing random yeah. wires you just splice it together. Gosh. All right, so a quick diagnosis. This little pin I did not have in this slot down here, which is where it needs to be, because look on the dash. Kickstand's up. No kickstand light anymore. That's my mistake. Let's get back out there. Kickstand is up, kickstand is up on the dash, bring the kickstand down, kickstand is down on the dash. I'm glad I figured that out. All right, take number two. All right, first gear. Nice, we're in first. Oh my gosh, this bike is so loud. This is not good. This is gonna get me in so much trouble. Is that a cop? Is that a cop? That's literally a cop right there. That's literally a cop. What are the, what are the chances? This is insane. I hope that cop didn't turn around, bro. I'm not about to deal with that. Just nondescript black vehicle, the police. Bye. Oh my, this, that's not even like, that's 8,000 RPMs. Quick little inspection, everything's still on the bike. <laughs> the previous... It's got no brake lights. Are they all right with that in America? No brake lights. Sound. Owner literally told me I should wear earplugs. <laughs> Dang, she looks beautiful. All right, let's let's get some rollers for you, boys. It's got no brake lights, and that's fine. Stop doing that. 
というのは、あ、よく聴取法。<笑>